So Eternal Darkness has a bunch of movement options. So you can basically walk, run, and sneak. And the main difference between this is of course the speed, but there's another difference is that sneaking is silent, whereas walking or running is not. And there's also another difference about stamina, but that's for another video. So there is some instances where you have to sneak on this game, like this for instance, on, on the worm. If you just walk, either walk or run here, you're gonna get caught by the worm and that's not good. So normally what you do is you sneak here. But that's super slow, right? We don't want that. So an alternative to that is to something we call target run, which is basically you run and from time to time, with a certain rhythm, you hit R in your control, in your controller, okay? You have to get used to a rhythm. You can like just barely touch the R button and that's fine. So this makes you stop immediately. Like if you're running and you press full R, you stop in place immediately. But if you just barely touch R, yeah, you stop entirely but you can kind of just keep running the thing about this is that this has about the same properties of sneak in terms of noise so we can kind of run on this part with a worm so you can go here and you just press r with a certain rhythm you gotta get used to it of course you have to experiment different rhythms and see when you get the optimal one if you go like too long between every beat, it's not gonna work, of course. And if you go too short, you're gonna lose too much time. You know, if you run like this, it's still a little bit faster than sneaking, <laughs> but it's not as fast as you want, of course. This also works with trappers. That's an interesting thing about this. So, if you go here, for instance, if you just run towards trappers, they're going to explode. But, you can target run near trappers and like go past them. So of course those are those can be harder because you have to react to the distance you are from the trapper and like at which point you want to stop doing it, but it works, it definitely works. Now, there's some instances where target run is not necessarily less reliable, but there's some stuff you gotta be aware of. So there in the trappers, Alex didn't have a gun. So that means you cannot target trappers, right? But if you have a gun, like here on this part on Max, you're gonna target the trapper. And that means your character is gonna turn around towards the trapper. So this is a very common scenario on Max. This is right after killing the horror. You're on this place, you enter here, and there's a trapper there. If your movement and the RNG on the trapper is good, you can just like take this thing and just walk back. But if the trapper is too fast, it's gonna catch you. So most of the time you kind of want to do a target run here. But there's a little issue with that, is that you're gonna turn around towards the trapper. Most of the time, if you just do it blindly. Now, that's still fine, that's totally all right, but it can be faster than that if you want. So one option you can do is you only turn towards the trapper if it's in your range of vision of max. What you can do is you can target away. So here, for instance, I'm running towards here. So I want to target to the right of max instead of just targeting. In this case, I press up when I target. So I target away. And then you see it's like way faster. So basically that. And that prevents you from targeting the trapper. And there's other places where more special than this one, like this instance on Kareem. So there's a trapper here. Well, this is a very special instance because it depends on a lot of factors. It depends how much the trapper has been singing. A lot of the time you can just outrun it and it's fine. But also, a lot of the time, you have to react to zombies. Now, this zombie is in a very good position, so I can just like target run on, on that zombie. It's fine. Like I can do that, and I'm fine. But sometimes you're gonna get this zombie in a very different position. 
and maybe a, a target will fuck your movement. If that's the case, sometimes it's better to, instead of just target run, just do like a little sneak. I usually do like a little sneak here, like that, and that's it. Just to react, because sometimes you, you also want to like do a very tight turnaround here because there's zombies close from the left side so a little turnaround with sneak is kind of a good option that doesn't mess your angle in this case because a target might give you a difficult angle for this room so yeah basically that